Hey, what's up YouTube, Jake Su here and welcome back to another Nikkei video. So today we're gonna talk about the new Bonnie units and how good they really are. Should you pull or should you pass? Let's go ahead and find out. Also for me, please hit that subscribe button if you like Nikkei contents like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss new Nikkei contents or videos. Alright, so the first unit that we'll be taking a look is Blank. So Blank is a defensive unit who uses Assault Rifle, which is actually really good. And let's take a look at her skill 1. So skill 1 creates a shield equivalent to 11.8% of the caster's max HP. So this percentage is based on the max rank, right? Which protects all allies from damage. Lasts for 5 seconds. So this skill right here will activate every time she lands 120 shots or 120 normal attacks. Wow, that is hella impressive. So in comparison, this is basically Sentis skill 2, but a little bit stronger. Because Sentis skill 2 is she creates a shield equivalent to 6%, 6.38% of the caster's max HP, which protects all allies from damage. Last 5 seconds. See? That is basically Santis skill 2. Only difference between the two is that Santis uh, second skill is basically, you know, it activates every 9 seconds. While Blank will need to land 120 shots for it to activate. Which, give or take, I think the uptime is kind of the same. Now, Blank having this ability literally makes her already a uh, top tier unit because Santi shield is basically the skill that made her top tier, right? And you know what's crazier? We are just getting started, bro. We are just getting started. All right, so that is Blank's skill one, which is basically Santi's skill two. Now we'll go back to skill two later on. Let's go and check the burst skill first. All right, so Blank's burst skill. So affects all allies, constantly recovers 3.84% of caster's max HP every 1 second for 8 seconds. She has a heal guys. She has a heal. And you know what? This is basically the same heal with Rapunzel. Yes, the best healer in the game. Now, now, take a look. Take a look. This is my Rapunzel's skill 1. Do you see that percentage? Does it look familiar? Sure, granted that my Rapunzel's skill 1 is only level 7, but come on, man. Imagine having that heal consistently for 8 seconds, not to mention her skill 2, right? Look, look, this is her skill 2. Activates after burst ends, affects all allies. Constantly recovers 3.68% of caster's max HP for 1 second every 5 seconds. That is basically... 100% uptime, which is basically the same with Rapunzel. Rapunzel can heal you every time she does a full charge shot, which takes about one second, give or take. So basically, Blank has the same healing capabilities as Rapunzel, which is basically the best healer in the game because she heals you constantly without using her burst. Right? That, to me, is absolutely crazy. She already has the shield of the best defensive burst 2 unit and now she has the best healing capabilities of the best healer in the game wow but you're gonna tell me but she doesn't have a revive which rapunzel has well it's just gonna get better <laughs> let's move on let's read her burst skill so affects one allies with the lowest hp except the caster gain Indomitability for 10 seconds. Increases max HP by 31% for 10 seconds. She has... Do you know what this ability is? This is Makima's Invulnerability. What? Now, look, look, look. Makima's Invulnerability is 7 seconds. Blank, however. Blank's Invulnerability is 10 seconds. And it's not on a specific person. It's not only for her right this will affect one ally that is about to die one ally that is about to die 
or has the lowest HP, Blank will give her invulnerability for 10 seconds and also this is not lock by a one time active. This will always activate every time she uses her burst. How busted is that dude? On paper, that is giga busted dude. Like that is absolutely crazy. From those skills alone, you can already cement her to be the best burst to unit in the game. But you know what? There's actually more. There's actually more. Do you guys know why Novel or why a lot of players actually is considering of using Novel? Every time like there's a boss fight, you can see guides or people commenting that, hey, use Novel. Do you know why? It's because of this skill right here. So for the second effect of Novel's burst 2, you can see here that when Cornucopia is fully stacked, affects one enemy unit. So damage taken for that unit is increased to 67.5% for 5 seconds. That what makes Novel really good against bosses. Now let's go back to Blank's skill. So affects all enemies. Damage taken is increased to 39.26% for 10 for 10 seconds. So that's 13 almost 40% for 10 seconds. Sure, it's not 67%, but it affects all enemies and the duration is actually double. And you know what? This will activate every time she uses her burst. That is crazy. In comparison, Novel's um, damage increase requires Cornucopia to actually be maxed out. Like the stack needs to be max and to actually do that one stack actually requires 100 normal attacks for cornucopia and it requires five stacks to be maxed out that means noble needs to fire 500 shots just to get the 67 percent increased damage while on the other hand blank only needs to use her burst now that is broken like dude look at how crazy she is she has Santi's shield but stronger at max rank. She has Rapunzel's heal, constant healing, by the way. She has Makima's invulnerability. She can't cast it on herself but she can cast it on everyone else. It lasts for 10 seconds and she can do this every time she uses her burst. It's not lock on a one-time thing. And on top of all that, she has a better Novel's burst. Like the damage increase from Novel, she has that, but better. She doesn't need to build any stack, she just use her verse and voila, that's it. That's the damage increase. How crazy is this character, dude? Look at that. Now the only weakness for Blank's kit right now is that you need another unit from the 777 squad to actually maximize Blank. Without another um, unit from 777 squad, which currently right now is Noir, without her, um, Blank is actually not that good. She is probably around A tier or S tier because you need another uh, burst 2 unit. But with Noir around, like hands down, she is the best unit. Also, Noir is not even that bad. She actually complements Blank's kit very well. And with that said, let's actually take a look at Noir. Alright, Noir. So Noir is an attacker shotgun unit. It's skill 1. So skill 1 is actually like a passive. As long as she has 70% health or above, all of the allies including her will get 14% attack constantly. As long as her health is above 70%. This is at max rank. So this is actually not hard to keep. Especially if you have uh, blank on the team or any other healers on the team. And now let's take a look at the skill 2. This is also another utility skill. So activates when entering full burst, affects all allies. Max ammunition capacity is increased by 5 rounds for 10 seconds. Reload 39.88% or basically 40% of the magazines every time she enters burst. This is at max rank. So her skill 2 is actually really good because this doesn't affect shotgun units only. This actually helps out the other units that struggles with ammunition like sniper units and rocket launcher units which is actually really good. 
And now for the last but not the least, her burst skill. So affects all enemies, she will deal 350% of attack as damage. So this is a full screen wipe. Now the only other full screen wipe characters in Nikkei, except the pilgrims, right, is Privati and Yulha. But Yulha's burst takes time, right? It drops for about 2 to 3 seconds, unlike Privati and War, which is instant. So basically she's like the second instant uh, full screen wipe for the normal Nikkei's. And now there is another effect. So it affects all allies with shotgun. Hit rate is increased by 13.93, which is basically 14% for 10 seconds. Damage to interruption port is increased to 23.23% for 10 seconds. Now, if you are using a non-shotgun unit, their hit rate is going to be increased by 11.61% for 30 seconds. Wow. And damage to interruption port is increased to 19.36% for 30 seconds. Now granted that you need another unit from the 777 squad, which currently right now is blank. All right, so compared to blank, Noir's kit is kinda like lacking compared to blank. Like blank is just broken. Like blank is just way stronger. But I think you should treat these two characters as a one unit, because you basically need both of them on the same team. Well, at least for now, not until other units from 777 comes out, right? So, the question is, should you pull for this unit? The answer is yes and no. Yes, if you still don't have a strong burst 2 unit, right? If you actually need an insane burst 2 unit, this is it. Blank is it. Blank is literally the best burst 2 unit in the game right now only drawback you need noir to accompany her but you know it, it would change and it can change in the future once the other triple seven units comes out now another reason to pull for them is if you if you love bunnies because this is literally is the ultimate trap that nikkei has set up for us like this unit doesn't only look good, but they're actually good. Like together, they are insane. Like they are stupidly insane. Like crazy good, right? Crazy good. Now, before you pull, let me actually give you hints on what is like the upcoming banners gonna look like. This will not come out like right next to each other, right? There will be other banners in between these um, upcoming events, but hey, at least you have an idea. So, right after this uh, event right here, in the upcoming event, like not the next event, but the event after that, we will be having the summer event, right? There is actually a summer banner waiting, and this summer banner will have a limited character with it, right? A limited seasonal character. And then after that, right around the corner, we will have the Nier call out which is also limited units right and then after that after a few banners we will have the next pilgrim banner which is most likely gonna be crown or chime but I, I i want it to be crown right and then right after that we will meet or we will be greeted by nikkei's first year anniversary wow <laughs> So yeah, the bunny banner is the ultimate trap to actually drain our gems. And the, the next banners are traps for the next banners, like the summer being a trap for the near, and the near banner actually being a trap for the pilgrim banner. Ha dang, the upcoming banners are actually really stacked, it's insane. It's gonna be crazy, like the upcoming banners up until we reach the one year anniversary, all of them gonna be insane, like the major ones at least. It's gonna be crazy, dude. So for me, I'm actually on the fence of actually pulling for Blank and Noir because Blank is just really good, just really good. So I'm thinking about it if I should actually pull for them because I don't have that much. Uh, pulls right so i'm not you know i'm not really confident that i'll be able to pull for them but the good thing is 
these characters they will actually go to the standard banner right like after the event you can pull them from standard banner and the friendship pulls and the ssr mode so that's that's really good so you don't really have to worry about it like if you are thinking of actually saving up gems for the upcoming limited characters then yeah please go ahead and save up i mean there's actually no wrong answer here if you're gonna go and pull for them and you manage to get them then it's not bad because these two characters are just insanely strong i don't think the upcoming limited characters can actually outperform these two characters probably not until we reach the the next pilgrim but even then no single character can outperform this duo for now and i don't think near or the summer limited characters can actually do that like they these two characters will not be power crap anytime soon and that is it for today's video what are your thoughts let me know down in the comments below and as always thank you so much for watching guys and good luck with your pools i hope that you get these two characters these two lovely bunnies or you know the upcoming banners whichever one you choose right and with that said thank you so much again and i'll see you on the next one and goodbye for now